Clinton's partner in the sex tape. This is Bubba the Love Sponge's ex-wife. She's on the stand. She says she is the real victim in this case. Her name is Heather Cole. She claims she had no idea she was being recorded. Guess it must have been the husband. I, she was having sex with her husband's best friend and no idea she was being recorded. Here she is. Mr. Clem and Mr. Bolia. Well, Mr. Bolia is having sex with Mr. Clem's her husband. Isn't that a weird way to understand to refer to people? Uh, uh, <laughs> I just I walk away from all of our stories going, wow. <laughs> okay, joining me by phone, I've got CNN Money reporter Tom Clute. He is following the trial in Florida. So, Tom, how did Hogan react during Heather's testimony uh, at, while it was being played for the jury? Well, Hogan kept his head down for much of the deposition, which spanned nearly two hours, but the jurors just couldn't keep their eyes off. They were absolutely glued to the flat screen television that was positioned in front of them. It was really riveting and, and gripping testimony from Cole. Uh, you know, as I said, her tape deposition was over an hour and a half, and through it out, all the jurors could see her fighting back tears as she was asked to describe her open relationship with Bubba Clem. She said that Bubba recorded her having sex with multiple men, but to her knowledge, she only recorded her with Hogan the one time. She also said she was actually quite upset when Hogan drew attention to the sex tape of the litigation. In her words, she said she just wanted it all to go away. Drew? All right, thank you, my friend. Sarah, Vanessa, Troy, still with me. And Sarah, you are not buying Heather's uh, affect here or her I'm story. Not, no, absolutely not. I mean, she's such a victim, and she's had all this time to sue Gawker since the video leaked. She's had time to, you know, seek damages for, for her right. invasion of privacy. But she just wants it to go away. She doesn't want to keep it out there in the courts. She doesn't want to, she but, just wants to pretend it didn't happen. But, Dr. Drew, I think it's important to go back to the initial statement of her ex husband. Uh, Bubba, who said everybody knew they were being recorded. That Terry yeah, but Bollea... He, but he ended up getting sued by Terry. Correct, and, and then the story changed. But initially, the, the story was that everybody knew they were getting taped. Look, I think they're just a bunch of swingers. Maybe she wasn't initially into it, but her husband got her into it. But, you know, that's their lifestyle. And usually people that do that do it so they can press play and watch it later, and there's a risk that that tape's going to leak. Vanessa, bring me back to uh, reality for a second, will you? Common sense court, we're <laughs> Thank here. You. Give we're always common here. Sense court now. In a weird way, I believe her. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't agree. I, I, for some reason, believe this woman. I don't know why. I think the fact that they were swinging and sexing everybody who had something to sex with is just disgusting, but for whatever reason, she seems honest about it. She's like, hey, we did X, Y, and Z, but I wasn't on camera for this relationship, and it shouldn't be out in the public. Now, she testified that when the sex tape became public, she just wanted it to go away, as we've been saying here. But Hogan kept talking about it on radio mm -hmm. shows and whatnot. So take a look. I thought that I didn't have anything to say about it. And I was very hurt, and I thought, well, I wish that the other people involved would behave the same way. So, Troy, she thinks that he, that Hulk Hogan was attracting more attention to it. She was feeling shame as a result. He was talking about his outrage at it having happened, but it was in maybe inadvertently attracting more attention. She wasn't feeling so much, uh, she wasn't feeling incredulous as her husband was handing uh, a condom to Hulk Hogan saying, go have fun, guys. You know, she didn't seem so incredulous then, and that she would even participate in this, and then to have these crocodile tears later, I'm not buying it. Don't you uh, slut shame her. Well, you <laughs> I don't know. know what happened in that bedroom, she, but it still doesn't, it's not okay. If she's, she if her had husband, sex with her husband's best friend. It's disgusting, oh, but her husband I don't mean said to shame have her. sex with my. Don't shame her. Whatever happens in their relationship is their relationship, but it still isn't for public consumption. It's and, still not fair to her. And, and to be fair, uh, Bubba, Bubba Clam, Bubba the love, love Sponge, who is the one they think recorded this tape, did not have to testify. His lawyer will plead the fifth on his behalf. He would have been important to this case, no? He would have, and I because the the issue of whether there was knowledge of of uh, being taped or not is 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 what's going to help or harm Gawker, I think, in this case. And um, so that means the fact that he's invoking his fifth means that there's some exposure, some criminal exposure out there uh, that 
you know, that he's trying to protect himself. And look, oh, you're so, hey, hang on here. You said if somebody takes the fifth, they're necessarily guilty? Oh. <laughs> Said? No, that he's exposed, that there could be allegations of a crime and that the best thing to do is shut up and not say a word. All right, now the publisher of Gawker explains why this was news at all. Why is sex tape of Hulk Hogan's considered something we call news? Take a look. The piece had value, that it was true, it was honestly, it was a story honestly told, uh, and uh, it was interesting to uh, millions of people. There's, I mean, that just says there's nothing guiding publishing of news and material other than its interest to people. As there's no ethical guideline other than whether or not millions of people are interested now, in it, right? As a journalist, that is disgusting to me. Like, there has to be some boundaries. We need to set some limits. You can't just throw a story out there because people will read it. That's how you get these fake stories. That's how you get these but lies. But he put himself in the public he eye. Yeah. He's not just a random His person. His penis that is they, in public but, eye. I don't need but it. But everything about him, you know, he put himself into the public square. Look, he didn't just you know, put himself in the public square, but like he, he put his sex in the public Public square. It's not just that his celebrity status is That's that this. True. It, you know, this is a guy who goes around and brags about the size of his package. Of Hulk. I mean, now we of get Hulk, to not Terry, though. He makes a distinction. No, he Hulk made the and Terry are the same person. That's that. It, that just aggravates me. I mean, it just it just annoys me that there's this distinction between these two people. It's the well, same person. I would just tell he you. Talks about sex is now your. You get to see his sex tape. You I, get to see in his. Bed. I don't want to see a sex me. tape, but there's plenty of people that do. But look, it's argue. The argument then, Sarah, is that if you're a if you're a porn star. You have zero rights to any privacy ever because after all, you're putting it all out there on those tapes. I would, I would think you have to look at it on a case by case basis. This is a guy who we've got to keep more attorneys in, uh, employed, is what you're saying. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm Thank just you. saying, I think there's got to be limits to this. And when you read some of the things they wrote about what they, they only showed like nine seconds of tape or something. But when you read what they wrote and the innuendo and the editorialization, which were dis, which were really, de, de, I mean, they were disdainful, derogatory implications uh, and aspersions directed directly at this guy. I mean, someone needs to pull their chain back, hold them accountable for this, that you can't say just whatever you want, whenever you want, just because it's interesting to other people. Next